Assalamualaikum and have a nice day. I am Cik Gudila and today we will learn about scientific skills. This is for Science Year 5, Unit 1. Scientific skills. Scientific skills are the skills practiced when conducting an experiment or investigations. It can be divided into two, which are science process skill and the other one is manipulative skills. Science process skills. Science process skills are observing, classifying, measuring and using numbers, making inference, Predicting, communicating, using space and time relationship, interpreting data, defining operationally, controlling variables, formulating and making hypotheses, and last, experimenting. This is the basic of science process skills such as communicating, observing, classifying, measuring and using numbers, inferring and predicting. We will see it one by one and how can we make this science process skills. First is observing. Observation. Observations can be divided into qualitative observations which is the observations only involve the use of sense the observations recorded before during and after the characteristics of an object or phenomenon like texture color smell shape or temperature are observed the second one is qualitative observation these observations involve collecting data more accurately by using tools to measure and the other one is observations in change. This one is observing a phenomenon that is undergone change chemically and physically. Now let's learn how to make an observation. Observations need to make based on sense. The first one, sense we have eyes, ear, nose, mouth which is our tongue and hand. So state what can you observe using five sensory organs so the five sensory organs which is eyes to see ears to hear nose to smell tongue to taste and the last one skin to touch now let's see an example <laughs> this is a durian the durian feeling is yellow so we're using our eyes to see so that is the sense of sight the durian feeling tastes sweet. This one is taste. Next. The durian smells strong. We are using our nose. The durian has a prickly skin. Next, in the second, we have seedling A and seedling B. What observations that we can make based on this diagram? Seedling B is taller than seedling A. The leaf is of seedling B is larger than the leaf in seedling A. The stem of seedling B is larger than the stem in seedling A. So that is the example of observation that we can make based on observation. How to answer observations? This is the first method. When MV is 2, when the manipulated variable is 2, we have two manipulated variables. For example, here we need to write the responding variable we choose the manipulated variable and then compare for example we have this one two animals duck and frog the number of egg produced duck only can produce around six eggs meanwhile frogs can produce 200 almost 200 a lot of eggs so how can we write the observations write rv choose the mv and then compare this is the MV. MV is the animal. Responding variable is the number of egg produced. Then compare. What we can write is the number of egg produced by frogs is more than the duck. Okay, that is the first. Second, or we can write the number of egg produced by duck is less than the frog. Okay, that is the observation. Next, how to answer observation? 
method number two when mv is more than two we have to manipulate that more than two so we can write the responding variable and then we choose the highest or the lowest manipulated variable then we compare for example like this one we have the speed of car this is the responding variable and the surface that one is the manipulated variable how can we write we write the responding variable the speed of the toy car on the surface of the tile is higher than on the surface of carpet sandpaper and cement or we can write the speed of toy car on the surface of carpet is lower than on the surface of tile sandpaper and cement next we have the method tree how to write an observation when mv is the same where the manipulated variable is the same for example like this one okay how can we write we write it the rv responding variable either it's increasing or decreasing we have this area of the forest left and here so this is the rv responding variable and this is the manipulated variable how can we write it we can write the area of the forest left is decreasing you can see it's decreasing from 1995 into 210 or you can write the area of forest left in 2010 is the least compared to the previous year so this is an op observation next we move to classifying classifying is when we gather object which similar characteristic in the same group for example we have breathing organ of animals animals that breathe through lungs and animals that breathe through gills lungs for example we have snake bird whale and cat meanwhile the gills we have shark brown tadpole and crab measuring and using numbers measuring and using numbers involve the usage of standard measuring tools so for example like this one we have the quantity and the standard measuring tools that we can use and the standard unit for example if we want to measure a length of something we can use ruler or measuring tape the unit can be millimeter centimeter or meter for volume we can use either beaker measuring cylinder or conical vase the unit could be millimeter or liter for mass we can use a liver balance triple beam balance so the unit can be milligram gram or kilogram for time we can use a stopwatch the unit can be second minutes or hour and the last one for temperature we can use thermometer and the unit is degree celsius making inference what is making inference inference is actually we are making an early conclusions about an event based on observation made so we have learned how to make an observations and what we do by making an inference we make an early conclusion so tips to answering an inference is we need to identify the observations we need to find the reason or cause of such things that happen due to the observations the third one we can compare various logical reason but the answer must be in the form of comparison so how to write inference if the observation has been stated or written in the previous questions you just can continue write because and then you state the reason if the observation is not stated or written in the previous questions you need to write the observation first then continue because of and then you state the reason how to answer an inference so this is the method one we need to write an observations and then we write because the reason we refer to the manipulated variables this bar chart shows the result of an investigation of the force required to push a box of different masses on the floor at the same distance 
so amount of force needed that is responding variable mass of box is the manipulated variables observation mv rv so observation is related to the responding variables inference something that related to the manipulated variables observation the amount of force needed to push the box is increased so how can we write the inference the amount of force needed to push the box is increased because the mass of the box increases so that is the first one we have the second method write observations because reasons and then you give the science fact for example like this these questions we have a diagram the diagram below shows the shadows form under the sunlight so the observation the length of the shadow at 12 noon is the shortest compared to other times so the inference can be written as the length of the shadow at 12 noon is the shortest compared to other times because positions of the sun is upright on the stick so positions are of the sun is upright on the stick is the science fact the green one is the observation next this video is quite long so predicting Predicting is making an assumption about an event based on observation and past experience or based on data obtained from other investigation. So that is predicting. For example, like this one. Based on the diagram, predict what will happen when the water is heated for 30 minutes. So what can we write? What can we predict about this one? First, the volume of water inside the beaker reduced because why <laughs> it's already evaporated okay the boil water still remain at the same 100 degree celsius the same at 100 degree celsius because 100 degree celsius is the boiling point of water communicating communicating is actually we present ideas or information in various form this can be in form of verbally written graph diagram mind map formula model or drawing so this is how we communicate so using space and time relationship using space time relationship is a skill that describes changes of situations or phenomena based on the change in parameter over time example of parameter it can be size volume weight location directions or shape as for example using space and time relationship we can see we have an ice cube after five minutes the ice cube will start melting and after that after another 10 minutes what happened the ice cube continuously melting so relationship between space and time we can write as as time increases the shape of the ice becomes irregular and it decreases in size because it's already melt next we have interpreting data interpreting data is a skill to give rational descriptions about objects events or patterns from collected data so the data can be in table, pie chart, bar chart, or classification chart. Defining operationally. Defining operationally is a skill to define a concept by stating what can be carried out and observe. Example. The durability of the soap bubbles can be defined operationally as the time taken of the soap bubble to burst. Next, we have controlling variables. Actually, we already identified the controlling variables like the manipulated and responding, vari responding variables in our previous, previous slide. Okay, it's okay. So, variables are factors that can change in an investigation. 
we have three types of variables actually the first one we have manipulated variables a variables that is changed in an investigation we change it we alter it so that is the manipulated variables second we have constant variable constant variable is the variables that remain constant remain unchanged from the first before we start the experiment until the end of the experiment it's still the same meanwhile the last one we have responding variables so responding variable is a variable that is observed in an investigation we observe it and then that is the result for example identify the variable variables in the investigation below so the picture below shows two type of vehicles that are used by two men to travel from Penang to Selangor we have motorcycle it took five hours meanwhile we have car it only took four hours so the constant variable is the distance traveled by the vehicles which is the same that is the constant from Penang to Selangor manipulated variable is the type of vehicles so what is the difference which is first is car second is motorcycle and responding variable is the result time the time of traveling in hours making a hypothesis making a hypothesis is a skill to make a general statement that can be tested about the relationship between the variables in an investigation so this is the answer key you can use this kind of answer key to answer a hypothesis questions it's either if the manipulated variable is higher the responding variable lower you can just stop for a while to read it this is just the basic and then let's see an experimenting so experimenting is a skill to plan and conduct an investigation to test a hypothesis by collecting and interpreting data to make conclusion from the investigation so planning an experiment how can we plan an experiment first we need to determine the control variables the three variables determine apparatus and material needed determine method of collecting data where we want to put our data and then the last one determine method of analyzing data experimenting so experimenting this is the step of experimenting planning an experiment and then identifying the problem and making a problem statement making up a hypothesis and then controlling the variables listing the apparatus and materials planning the step and then testing the hypothesis collecting and interpreting data making a conclusion and writing a report so this is the step for experimenting so we have two types of scientific skills so the first one is science process skills and then this is the second one which is manipulative skills so manipulative skills is about practice when conducting the experiment so this is some practice of this is some practice when we are conducting an experiment first is how we use and handling apparatus and material okay we need to use and handling apparatus correctly handling specimen specimen correctly and carefully sketching specimen sense apparatus and material correctly cleaning apparatus and material correctly and storing science apparatus and substance correctly and safely i think that's it for our video for this video thank you for listening so you can scan this qr code for some notes in bahasa melayu okay i think that's it don't forget to like and subscribe thank you bye